Hey, what's going on YouTube? Easy Tech G31 here. I've got the best Android apps of February 2016 coming right up. So this month I'll be using the Nexus 6P. It's got this really awesome slick wrap skin on it. You guys know I love customizing my phone inside out. So check the description for more info on these skins. I've got them on all of my devices and they're highly recommended. So first up, we actually have a trio of applications from the same developer. We've got the cleaner, battery time, and rocket VPN. So basically what we have here is an application that will help you clean your device, keeping storage free from junk and unnecessary files. You've got an app that'll optimize your device to get the best battery life possible. And you've got an application that'll help you keep your info safe when browsing the internet. Now I've reviewed both battery time and the cleaner applications on my channel. So make sure you go check those out. I'll have links to those in the description, but with rocket VPN, we pretty much have a free proxy shield that lets you encrypt your private mobile data. Essentially, it will allow you to use your social applications without being tracked or having all of your data being collected. You can also get a free 500 megabytes of data to use every 30 days, although it cannot be stacked or rolled over into the next month. So this is a great way to secure your connection and guard your privacy. I highly recommend all three of these applications so that you can help your device run to the best that it can. Next up, we have Morecast. It's a super solid weather app with features that you would normally expect to be on a paid application. It's got a clean, attractive, and responsive interface, and it gives you all of the information that you could possibly need. The app has neat features like graphs to get you more detailed weather, and you can check out different webcams around the world and a lot more. It's very informative, and most importantly, it's accurate. So if you're in the market for a fresh new weather application, give Morecast a shot. Next up, we have Auto Date Time Stamp. This application will automatically stamp a photo with the date and time that you took it. I find this to be pretty useful when taking pictures on a vacation, and I can't remember exactly when the photo was taken. Now in the application, you have the ability to adjust the stamp format. It's got a decent selection of options, but with the Pro Upgrade, you can change the stamp font, you can change the stamp position, and you can change the stamp color. This opens up for a more customizable experience, and you can really make the stamp your own. So I find this to be a pretty useful tool for those of you who would like to know when exactly your shots were taken. Next app on the list is Kruma Keyboard. It's essentially Google Keyboard, but better. Kruma actually adapts to the application that you're using at the time. So for example, if I'm using Google Keep, the keyboard will turn yellow. And if I'm using Google Hangouts, the keyboard will turn green. If I'm using YouTube, the keyboard will turn red and you get the idea. So if you love Google Keyboard and you're used to it, then you will definitely love this one. You've got customizations like night mode, which will shift the color tones based on the time of day. And you can also switch to a gradient palette option, which looks pretty awesome. The colors really make for a nicer experience when switching between applications. It has a swipe function, which is super convenient. It is a paid application, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. This will be on every Android device that I get from now on. Next application is Mr. Phone. It's a super simple application that will allow you to compare a bunch of different smartphones and tablets. It's got an incredibly deep database with almost any phone that you can think of, except for the HTC Dream, also known as the T-Mobile G1, but that's okay. The interface is nice and clean with the material design, it works well, and it's got all the info that you'll need when you're doing research on a possible smart device purchase. You can save your favorite devices for later with offline reading, and you can also zoom in on these high-res pictures as well. Comparing devices has never been easier. Next up, we have another simple application, and this one will let you make your own wallpaper. This is Tint, and basically what it does is it gives you two different options you can set as different colors, pretty much any color you want, and boom, you've got your own gradient wallpaper. The combinations here are endless, and you can save them to your gallery to use later. That's pretty much it. I think it's safe to say that I'll be adding this to my collection of wallpaper apps. Go check it out. Coming at you with another wallpaper app, we have Walgrim a collection of high-res images that were handpicked from Tumblr and Freestock images. You're looking at a huge library of wallpapers with HD, QHD, and 4K quality, all within more than 15 different categories to choose from. The app is nice and clean with material design and you can easily save the wallpapers to your device and you can expect the new wallpapers to show up daily. It's fairly rare when I come across a wallpaper app that's this solid, one that's free with high res quality images. This is an easy pick to include with my favorite wallpaper apps. Give it a shot. Next up, we have Kickstarter, the ever so popular internet community for startup projects. So I know most of you out there know what Kickstarter is, 
But if you don't, Kickstarter is a program people use to bring their creative ideas, projects, and inventions to the rest of the world. With this app, you can discover new projects within a bunch of different categories. Whoa. With this app, you can discover new projects within a bunch of different categories, and once you've found one that's got your attention, you can pledge a certain amount of money to help the project success. You'll get updates on the projects that you've backed, and you can also check out what your friends have backed as well. Kickstarter is a great community, but instead of using the website, you can now check out this awesome community from your smartphone. Second to last, we have Kboard. Continuing the trend of simple applications that have a big impact, Kboard gives you a keyboard where you can create your own custom keys. So if your day is so short that you're scratching to save those extra couple of seconds on texting, look no further. If you've got that certain collection of phrases that you find yourself always texting, just plop it in the app and you'll find it on the keyboard. Simple, right? You can add your favorite hashtags, add long names or words that are awkward to type, add custom emojis, and as the app description says, automate sweet nothings to your partner. Yeah. So this is a pretty fun app that will literally save you hours of pointless talking. Yeah, try it out. Last on the list is actually a game, and that's Puxers. Okay, so did I say that right? It wouldn't be Puxers, would it? So if you've ever played 2048 or threes, you'll feel right at home here. You basically have to match up the equal numbers to make the highest number possible. Honestly, it's like 2048 and air hockey had a super colorful baby and it came out to be Puxers. It's a pretty neat fast reaction brain stimulation game that you can easily get addicted to. Definitely give this one a shot. Well, that wraps it up for February's best Android apps. You guys know what to do. If you liked the video, smack that like button, comment your thoughts on the list, and let me know what your favorite apps were from this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Felicia.